Hi, my name is Emily. I'm from GTEC Customer Service. Today I'll be talking about the Grashima 4.0. This will also be helpful if you have the Grashima 3.0. This video is broken down into various different sections so you can jump straight to the demonstration that you need. Let's get started. To attach the trimmer head, line up the buttons and click into place. When attaching the shroud to the head, do not angle it like this. Place it flat to the machine, lining up the three clips and clip it into place. Attach the blade like this. Insert the battery like this. Only the GT 4.0 comes with a harness. This is how you attach it. Attach the battery as shown in the setup. There is a safety button on the upper part of the handle. You can press either side and then pull the trigger. To remove the battery, press the green buttons on both sides and pull to remove. When one green light flashes, this means the battery needs charging. If the battery is stored at extreme hot or cold temperatures, four solid red lights will appear. Please leave the battery at room temperature for 24 hours and then fully charge. This is how you insert the charger into the battery. When the battery is fully charged, four solid green lights will appear. To adjust the handle, press the green button. Pull the handle up to your desired position and lock and click into place. Remove the battery before you do any adjustments. To adjust the trimmer head, press the green button in and then move the head to your desired angle, hearing it lock and click into place. To change between trimmer and edge mode, you need to rotate the head 180 degrees. Please note this will only go one way. To remove the trimmer head, press the black button and remove. Four red lights will appear when the blade is jammed. Remove the battery before carrying out any maintenance and then remove any debris you see around the shroud here. Please make sure you wear gloves. Please note you can only remove the shroud on the grass trimmer 4.0. Remove the battery before any maintenance is carried out. Use a suitable implement and place into the hole on the shroud. Apply pressure and the shroud will pop off. If you need any more information, please visit our website.